In this tutorial, I'll show you how to get the most frequently occurring text in a column in Google Sheets using the filter function. So before we get started, if you want to follow along, you can find a link to the starter Google Sheet and a written tutorial in the description below. Let's get cracking. So as you can see here in column A, I have a list of mystery words and you can see some of these words occur more than once. Our goal is to try and get the most frequently occurring cell or the most frequently occurring collection of cells. Over here in column D, we can see that puzzling is the most frequently occurring word. Now, I know that the word cryptic is almost as frequently occurring as puzzling. And if I add another cryptic in, you can see in cell D2 to D3, that cryptic will appear. And now our list increases to show two pieces of text that are most frequently occurring. Okay, so let's delete that. So how do we do it? Let's start our walkthrough. Okay, so our first goal is to get a frequency count for each of the values. What do I mean by that? So I want to count how many times cryptic, obscure, puzzling, inexplicable, etc. appears in column A and put a value next to each one of these. To do this, we'll use the count if function. And that first takes the range, which is going to be this column A. So I can click and just drag down to 19. But what if we don't know how many extra values are going to be added in later? Let's just backspace and just keep it open by just leaving it as A. Now our next argument is the criterion. And the criterion means what rule are you going to apply to count a value over in column A? So for us, our first rule is just to, just to say, okay, if I want cryptic here, I want to count how many times cryptic occurs. I could type in cryptic and it would give me the total count of all the versions of cryptic. Now I want to do that with each and every one of these here. So what we can do is type in the entire range again. So I can say A to A and close brackets. This is giving me the first occurrence here with cryptic. And what we actually need to do is put this inside an array formula. So to do that, we are going to say equals and then type in array formula function and close our brackets. And this will dynamically make a count of each value as it corresponds in each row. And you can see once we hit zero here that they're all empty spaces because it doesn't do a count of it. Cool. So we're going to keep that in mind. We'll use just this count if function in our filter. We won't be using the array formula. I'll explain more about that in a moment though, just to show you what exactly is going on. So let's move on to our next step. And that next step is going to be find the max frequency as a value. So now that we have this count if list, we can find which one of these values is the max frequency. So we can see at a glance that's going to be this seven here. So what can, what formula can we use to indicate this? So when you want to get the highest value in a list of numbers, it's really easy. All you have to do is use max. So for example, if I wanted to, if I said equals and I typed in max like this and just grab this uh, column D2, like it's suggesting to D, we'll say yeah, and then close that to open it right up, it will tell us seven. So that's super easy. Unfortunately, it just doesn't do it for letters. That's why we have to make this complicated formula. We need to use the find the max frequency inside a larger filter function. So what we're going to do is actually copy. So I'm going to select this control C, go back to here and then replace this D2. Oops. Replace this D2D with our formula. Now I think I'll include an equals there, so we'll get rid of that. Move over here, get rid of that equals, put in an extra bracket, and there we go. So now, as you can see here, we've got this max array formula count if value. Cool. So we've got the two main components for our filter formula now. So let's combine them together into our filter. Let's open up G here. So for our filter formula, we're going to type in equals and we'll say filter, open up our brackets and filter takes at least two arguments. The first argument is going to be the range you want displayed. And then second and consecutive arguments are going to be the conditions by which you want to filter. So the range we want displayed is this A2 range. So I'm going to select that again, 
here. And we've got A11, that's enough. And our backspace, backspace, and then uh, put a comma. That's the range we want displayed. Great, so the next thing we want to do is add our condition. And our condition is going to be this. We want an array of all the frequency counts for each values. Okay, so in our condition, and then compare that against the max frequency as a value. So if we type in here count if a a two a comma a two a close our brackets and we want that to equal the max value that we've got here in F, and that's going to be our count if again, I'll be A to A comma A to A, and close brackets. And let's close those brackets again, and we're done. So now we can see that each value is going to be puzzling. So puzzling is uh, the, is the most frequently occurring word in column A, and it occurs seven times here. And you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven occurrences of it. No worries. Now, if like we did at the beginning, we included uh, if uh, cryptic also had a seven occurrences, so C R Y P T I, oh, capital letters there. If I type in C R Y P T I C, we can see that it also occurs in our list here as well. Great, let's just keep that in. So before I continue on, you'll probably notice that in these other two examples, we've also added the array formula. Why don't we need to do it in the filter example? Well, basically, filter is an array formula type function. So it will handle all the array formula actions um, inside the filter function itself. So we don't need to add it in again. All right, so let's move on to our last task. So our last task is that we don't want to have cryptic, cryptic, puzzling, 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 cryptic, etc., all the way through. We get it. We know the most common uh, occurring words are cryptic and puzzling now, so we only want to see them once. So how do we do that? Well, what we can apply here is the unique function. If I hit equals and typed in unique, and then selected this range, and closed our brackets, we see that cryptic and puzzling only occur once now, and they are our two most commonly occurring values. Okay, let's make that more dynamic and put all our formulas into one cell. So let's grab our formula from column H and put it inside our unique. So I'll hit tab to get out of that. Go into column H. I'm gonna select everything except for the equal sign and hit control C to copy and click tab to move away. Then back into J2 and where H2 the H15 is, I'm gonna select it and hit control V to paste it all in. And now we have our formula to get the most common words in a column, Google Sheets. Okay, so if you wanted to sort that value, now we can see right now everything's sorted alphabetically from A to Z. If you wanted to be crude, animalistic humans, we might want to sort it from Z to A. So let's go sort, and we can put in a brackets here. And then at the end of this entire formula, we can hit a comma. Now sort takes a column to sort by, and in this case, it's the first column, which is going to be this column A, because we've only got one column in our list. And then we want to see if it is ascending or descending. So we're going to be evil here and make it descending. So we'll say false and close our brackets. And now you can see horrifically that our unique items of most frequently occurring words are listed from Z to A. All right, let's get rid of that quickly to hide our shame and return everything back to normal. Okay, so that's it for getting the most common words in a column using Google Sheets with the filter function. I've got another approach in my next tutorial on how to do this exact same formula, but with the query function. If you're interested, check it out in the link below. Or if you want to learn more and a couple of extra bonus tips on how to use this function, you can check out the full written tutorial in the description in the links below. If you liked the tutorial, hit the like button. And if you want to see more, why not hit subscribe? I'll see you in the next tutorial.